Hello everyone, welcome to Chess Visor. Today I have another interesting game to share with you all. So this game is actually played between Magnus Carlsen and Richard Rapport. So Grenke Chess Classic, it was round number 7 since it is in a round robin event. And we have already covered the first game where, you know, Rapport was handling the white and now it's the color reversed and now Magnus is handling the white. And let's check out this chess miniature. So here Magnus plays pawn to d4, just opens the game with a queen's pawn opening and then knight f6 and eventually you know the game is you know kind of transposed into the Benoni structure, d5 and then d6 and then knight c3, e takes d5, c takes d5, now this is uh, you know uh, this structure you know denotes the uh, Benoni structure or the Benoni defense, pawn to g6 just trying to control the dark squares in the center of the board onto h3 this is a very typical move in in the benoni you have to play this move uh, sometimes uh, the bishop wants to trade itself to the, the knight so you have to you know prevent that by playing pawn to h3 and also sometimes the knight wants to come to g4 as well to kick the bishop which is going to sit on e3 so bishop g7 pawn to e4 gaining space castles and then uh, magnus plays bishop e3 so rook to e8 and now that uh, e4 is under attack so he plays knight to d2 and then uh, here you know he prefers to kick the knight by playing pawn to b5 with a move a6 because the knight is going to go to the c4 square so that is the uh, what do you say the house for the knight in general in modern or what do you say benoni defense or modern benoni defense the knight wants to always go to the c4 square where it can put pressure on d6 and also the bishop wants to go to f4 so that you know both pieces can attack d6 so to stop that idea he plays a6 so that he can push forward with a b5 but and now magnus stops it with the move pawn to a4 and here uh, we are seeing a you know typical sacrifice on the on the e4 square that is knight takes e4 so it is just taking advantage of the you know centralized king here so when you take back black is going to push forward with the f5 and you don't have to you know hold on to this knight say for example in the game uh, magnus you know he played bishop e2 uh, brilliant move by chess.com for some reason and then uh, okay he's giving up a pawn maybe that could be the reason but uh, the game continues with f takes e4 and then knight c4 and then he's threatening to play pawn to a5 and also here if you're wondering uh, can we just move the knight away say for example the knight where, where the knight was it was on the c3 square let's say i put the knight back on c3 and if i put the knight on c3 then the problem is i can push forward with the f4 taking advantage of the pinned bishop and now we have to play this move knight to c4 to guard e3 and after f takes e3 knight takes e3 and bishop to d4 this is very strong question for black and it is already considered black is slightly better and going back uh, in this position uh, in the game uh, bishop e2 was played and then after f takes e4 magnus plays knight c4 threatening to play a5 so rapport plays a5 himself and also he has an excellent control on b4 b4 square and maybe knight a6 b4 is an idea bishop f4 threatening to win the pawn so bishop f5 defending that rook a3 it's uh, an excellent rook lift i would say because the rook can all the way go to g3 so that he can pin down the pawn and push forward with the h4 h5, h5 idea knight to a6 now the knight is looking to go to b4 uh, castles and then knight to b4 anyway and then queen to d2 develops the queen connects the or uh, forms a little battery and then pawn to b6 rook g3 and uh, preparing to push hedge pawn and rook a7 preparing to meet that uh, so that he can uh, you know defend on the seventh rank with the rook pawn to h4 and then rook f7 was played so if you are wondering why you know uh, richard rapport did not capture this pawn well you can capture the problem is the queen will be trapped so to get out of this trap you have to give up the exchange now by playing pawn to e3 and now this is a counter attack on the queen so you must react so let's say rook takes e3 because the bishop's defense is also cut now so rook takes e3 and here if you simply you know capture back with the with the bishop then the problem is i can play this more bishop to a6 so it's not an immediate threat or something but uh, bishop a6 is a is a move now to to play and then after knight takes b6 now we can play this move bishop takes e2 and then queen takes e2 and now you play rook b7 so this is again white is uh, is not having any initiative but rather you know black is the one who is uh, trying to attack here so this is again uh, roughly equal position but slightly black is better 
so here you have to give up the exchange by playing rook takes e3 and then you know uh, queen takes g5 and then rook takes e8 after queen takes d2 knight takes g2 white is up on exchange and uh, eventually you know white can convert this game i guess but it is very difficult considering that black is having the bishop pair but in the game what happened he played uh, rook f7 and then we have bishop g5 and the bishops are you know exchanged on e7 square so queen e queen takes e7 and then pawn to h5 trying to open up the position now and also here uh, the computer wants to take the pawn but uh, after knight takes b6 we can always get the pawn on h4 and now that was the pawn we were you know uh, you know hoping to push push forward and damage black structure and open up the position and attack but now that's gone and going back in the game considering that he played pawn to h5 i guess and then bishop f5 trying to guard a g6 bishop g4 trying to exchange the bishop so bishop takes g4 and then rook takes g4 and now this is uh, like the critical moment uh, of this particular game because this is where you know game went wrong for richard rapport so here uh, there are only two moves considered good for black that is rook f6 rook f5 okay just to uh, especially rook f6 maybe to guard a uh, uh, g6 or uh, rook f5 is more logical because now i am threatening to win the pawn now so if you take i'm not going to take back rather i'm going to use your own pawn as a shield for my king and i'm going to push pawn uh, pawn to h5 and then um, let's say you take the pawn and then queen takes e4 knight takes d6 and i can um, what do you say so i'm going to win one of the major pieces here and that's an equal game for me so considering that uh, rook f5 rook f6 was an idea but in the game he played rook g7 and let's see why this is a losing move after rook uh, g7 he plays rook e1 now that pawn is undefended or is not defended well enough here uh, rapport plays uh, g takes h5 opening up the position and here uh, you know magnus goes for this imbalance the typical rook versus or uh, two rook versus the queen imbalance so that is rook g takes e4 and then queen takes e4 here also you could have avoided that by playing maybe queen to f6 so after queen f6 and you will have to play this variation and then uh, this is considered again uh, it's not an equal position why it is better because of the active play, uh, piece play uh, because now the rook is coming to f4 now you don't have to take the uh, uh, you know or exchange the rooks here and then we can take on g6 as well so considering that uh, why it is better but in the game uh, he played g into h5 and then rook g takes e4 which is uh, you know kind of creating the imbalance now so knight takes d6 in the end rook e5 uh, looks like uh, he's going to win a pawn here but after f4 he is actually forcing the things here so the problem is after rook takes d5 he gets out of this double attack by a tactus now because now the knight is immune to capture because if you capture there is a back rank issue going on so he plays pawn to h6 to avoid that and now after queen e6 check uh, after 30 second move in this position which a rap would simply resent the game it's because it's very difficult to hold this game uh, especially when you have this kind of imbalance or two rook imbalance your king should be in in a in a what do you say solid defense otherwise because the king can cannot hide anywhere it, it can give multiple checks and pick up all the weak pawns and then the knight is also there you can uh, you know easily run into a fork as well so in the game <clears throat> that's why he played or he resigned here in this position and i considered a top two removes recommended by the engine here so one is king h7 and another one is king h8 let's put uh, the top move that is king h7 so what is the problem in this move uh, now white can follow it up with the move knight to f5 threatening to take on h6 and not only that we are threatening the rook now if you save the rook let's say you play rook g d7 we are not going to take on h6 rather we play this move knight to e7 and now you cut off the uh, rook's defense and also you are threatening the rook and now there is no time for you to save the rook if you move the rook just like this king h2 and then you have to come back you have to do something else or you have to give up the <laughs> Uh, rook for the knight but that is losing uh, for black right but if you do this move that is uh, just for a sample variation you can just checkmate on g8 square otherwise like i said you have to give up the rook and then and the queen is going to go in the pa pac-man mode and grab all the pawns so it's very easy ending for white and considering all of these you know consequences or the sequences uh, i think uh, Richard Rapport simply resigned the game i hope you enjoy this quick review of this game and if you do so please like this video and still if you are not subscribed to the youtube channel consider subscribing to the channel and as usual this is chess wiser your wise choice to improve your chess